Hey guys, Sam here. Welcome back to our pediatric sonography register review. Let's keep rocking this test. Question 26. When evaluating this condition, the sonographer should give the patient what and must include which of the following in the ultrasound? A, barium and must show the body and the duodenum. B, gadolinium and must show the duodenal bulb and the body. C, IV fluids and must show the fundus and the pylorus. Or D, fluid and must show the antrum and the stomach bulb. This patient here has pyloric stenosis, and it's important to give the patient fluid, and you must show the antrum and the stomach bulb. Question 27. Between 80 and 90% of children with this type of condition will have an associated disease known as what demonstrated in this image? A. Cystic fibrosis and chronic pancreatitis. B. Post blunt trauma and acute pancreatitis. C. Cystic fibrosis and pancreatic insufficiency. Or D hypoglycemia, and nesodioblastosis. The answer is C, cystic fibrosis and pancreatic insufficiency. Question 28. Click on the structures responsible for producing estrogen hormones. There are four follicles demonstrated in this image, and each one of these is responsible for producing estrogen. Question 29. Which of the following occurs in patients who have Stein Leventhal? A. FSH is elevated and LH levels are decreased. B. FSH is decreased and LH levels are elevated. C. FSH is elevated and LH levels are elevated. Or D, FSH is decreased and LH levels are decreased. The answer is B, the FSH is decreased and LH levels are elevated. Question 30, this type of condition causes severe constipation as a result of the absence of intestinal nerves. A, Crohn's disease, B, appendicitis, C, intussusception, or D, Hirschsprung's disease. The answer is D, Hirschsprung's disease. Question 31. Which of the following must be performed to determine a positive study in this patient? A, colorful Doppler to show absence of flow in the painful and the normal testes. B, colorful Doppler to show presence of flow in the painful and the normal testes. C, colorful Doppler to show absence of arterial flow but presence of venous flow. Or D, Colorful Doppler to show increased presence of arterial flow, but decreased paratesticular flow. The answer is A, use colorful Doppler to show absence of flow in the painful and the normal testes in patients who have testicular torsion. Question 32, this sonographic sign is called what and indicates what condition? A, string of pearl sign and polycystic ovarian syndrome. B, 
bullseye sign and interception, C, target sign and appendicitis, or D, whirlpool sign and ovarian torsion. The answer is D, whirlpool sign and ovarian torsion. Question 33. This ultrasound demonstrates a common knee pain condition in adolescence. This is caused by inflammation and more commonly occurs during growth spurts. Which of the following best describes this ultrasound? A, epiphysiolysis. B, Osgood-Schlatter disease. C, leg cap prothesis disease. Or D, osteosarcoma. The answer is B, Osgood-Schlatter disease. Question 34. All of the following are the most frequently used veins for central venous access for a child except A, subclavian vein, B, internal jugular vein, C, antecubital vein, or is it D, femoral vein? The answer is C, antecubital vein. Question 35. A mother brings her two-year-old child back to the hospital 24 hours after a pediatrician performed the gold standard for determining the type of tumor in the child's abdomen. What complication are you most likely to see? A, hematoma. B, nausea and vomiting. C, hemoptysis. Or D, pneumothorax. The answer is A, hematoma. Question 36. What does this image represent? A, stein leventhal syndrome. B, polycystic ovarian disease. C, nebothiensis. Or D, normal ovaries. The answer is D, normal ovaries. Question 37. Which is the best way to eliminate or reduce this artifact? A, increase axial resolution. B, increase pulse repetition frequency. C, increase TGCs. Or D, increase color gain. The answer is increase pulse repetition frequency and the artifact is the bleeding here or the ghosting artifact in the tissue. These are low level frequency Doppler shifts. Question 38. Which is an abnormal ovarian volume size for a five-year-old? A, 1.2 milliliters. B, 0 0.9 milliliters. C, 0 0.7 milliliters or D, 0 0.2 milliliters. The answer is A, 1.2 milliliters. Question 39. This view is great for evaluating what? A, interhemispheric fissure, B, paraventricular white matter, C, sylvian fissure, or D, circle of Willis.
This is called the axial view, and this is great for looking at the circle of Willis. Question 40. Click on the structure responsible for sensory and motor function to the bowel and bladder. The answer is the cauda equina, right here. Question 41. Which of the following is a normal measurement for a spleen in a three-month-old? A, 60 millimeters, B, 8 centimeters, C, 70 millimeters, or D, 9 centimeters? The answer is A, 60 millimeters or 6 centimeters. Question 42. What does this image demonstrate? A, BV ECMO, B, VA ECMO, C, TIPS procedure, or D, Swan's GANS? The answer is A, VV ECMO, and this is the cannula. Question 43. Which of the following is considered a true medical emergency? A, testicular infarction. B, intravaginal torsion. C, hematocopos. Or D, ovarian torsion. The answer is B, intravaginal torsion. Question 44. Click on the structure that stabilizes the spinal cord. The answer is right here. This is called the conus. Question 45. All of the following are part of the circle of Willis except A. Middle cerebral arteries B. Anterior cerebral arteries C. Posterior cerebral arteries or D. Posterior communicating arteries The answer is A, middle cerebral arteries or the basilar arteries. Question 46, what does this kidney ultrasound demonstrate? A, normal kidney. B, ureteral pelvic junction obstruction. C, ureteral vesicle junction obstruction. Or D, pyonephrosis. The answer is normal kidney. Question 47. The mortality rate for patients who need ECMO is what, and what is the success rate? A, low and 85 to 90%. B, high and 2 to 5%. C, low and 95%. Or D, high and 25%. The answer is B, high and 2 to 5%. When the mortality rate is high,
that means the patient is likely to die. Question 48. Torch infections are primarily important because A. They cause macrocephaly B. They start affecting the child immediately following birth C. They can be transmitted to the unborn child in the womb or D. Infections start with the unborn child causing sepsis in the mother. The answer is C. They can be transmitted to the unborn child in the womb. Question 49. What does this image represent? A. Gallbladder high drops. B. Caroli disease. C. Biliary atresia. Or D. Intrahepatic biliary hypoplasia. The answer is C, biliary atresia. Question 50. Click in the area of high attenuation caused by a highly attenuating structure. The answer is right here. If you look closely, there's a little stone right here causing a shadow posterior to that area. So you'd click right there. I have two bonus questions I'm gonna ask you just in case you have your boards coming up here shortly. First bonus question, which of the following is the treatment of choice for this condition? A, surgery, B, antibiotics, C, diuretics, or D, OTC medications. This patient has cholidocal cysts, and the treatment of choice is surgery. Bonus question number two, which of the following is not a way in which an infant loses heat? A, conduction, B, convection, C, vaporization, or D, radiation? The answer is C, vaporization. This concludes our test for this video. I'll hurry and write 25 more questions and upload that video as fast as I can. I'm Jim with ultrasoundboardreview.com. Thank you so much for watching.